I'm Patty Flynn and I'm making an Odd Eye Super Dragon deck profile video. I recently updated it and made some changes to it and so making an update. I use two Odd Eye Super Dragon right now. Currently I would like to add one more and end up taking out Black Lesser Soldier for it because I would like it for a more of an Odd Eye Saber Dragon. But Black Lesser Soldier and Via the Beginning is a very good card and you can base it around this since it's very helpful in certain situations. This deck since there's mostly light and dark cards in here. I also use two Herald of Creation. Because it's a good card. And one Black Luster Envy at the beginning. Because it's li limited to one. Also because it's not really the main focus to the deck. Like I would run probably two. Probably. If the... If it was legal because it is a good card. And I also use one Odd Eyes Dragon. And it's like, I sort of just played this deck a bit. Just like, I, I found that three was really too many. Two, I drew it still too much. It's like, it appears it's not really the main focus of the deck. All I say with Dragon is in just like, two is good because then you know you at least have one in the deck if you draw one by accident. But one in the deck it gives me a lower lower chance of drawing it and more of a chance of drawing on I Saber Dragon or better one of my better cards. And I also use one Alexander Dragon. And because uh, and you could you you could use Herald of Creation but light monsters are needed for on I Saber Dragon's effect. It's too special to it. This card if this card is in your hand you can trigger one light monster, send one all eyes dragon from your deck. Your hand deck or side of the field to the graveyard, if, and if you do, especially on this card, when this card is dis destroys a monster by battle and send it to the graveyard, you can destroy one monster your opponent controls. It's a pretty good effect. And again, and Odd Eyes Dragon is a good effect, but it's not the best. If this card destroys an opponent monster by battle and send it to the graveyard, inflict damage to your opponent equal to half the attack of that monster. I use three Time Gazer Magicians. They're a good pendulum card to use. One Dragon Pulse Magician, one Stargazer Magician, and one Noble Dragon Magician. They're all good. And I like how Noble Dragon Magician is a tuner. And so, it's pretty good. I also use two Red Resonators. It, and just like, I sort of find that I tested this out. Like, the Resonators, resonators are the uh, good. Like, I sort of like to run a main type of tuner is like hard to like pick like I was changing around just like they're good and also the resonators work together and I use two dark resonators and two chain resonators chain resonators when this card is normal summon while you have a single monster on the field you can special summon one resonator monster from your deck except chain resonator so it's good to it get out another turn when this card is when this card is on summon, you can special summon one level four or lower monster from your hand. When this card is special summoned, you can target one face of monster on the field to gain life points equal to its attack. You can only use the effects of resonator once per turn. So it's pretty good. Like, So like you basically chain resonator to special summon red resonator to get its second effect off. Or I can normal summon it. And also dark resonator is pretty good. Once per turn, you cannot, cannot be destroyed by battle. And it's like uh, level three, so... Two different options in the stack to specimen, and those are the monsters. Now, on to the chat cards. I use three Ordeal and the Traveler. Ordeal the Traveler. I want to get three more, but not for the set for Sea of Oikakos because I don't like switching them. But it's a very good chat card. You can only activate this card when your effect when your opponent declares an attack. Your opponent set up one random card in your hand and causes a type of monster spell or trap. If your opponent calls it wrong, the attack monster is returned to the owner's hand. And if it was a monster from the side deck, it gets returned to the extra deck. Like, from the extra deck, I mean. I use two Call of the Haunted and one Powerful Rebirth. Because Powerful Rebirth is a bit better than actually Call of the Haunted. Activate this guy by target one level four and lowering your graveyard. Special summon that monsters increase the level by one and attack. Defense by 100 when that one so it's it's helpful like it's a bit different it gets it gets a level four to a level five so for X Y Z purposes and also 
most of the monsters are level 4 in here. You could also use another Call of the Haunted if you wanted to. I also use Stardust Respart. When your opponent special summons a monster, declares a direct attack. If its attack is greater or equal to your life points, negate the attack. And if you do, draw one card, then special on one Stardust monster from your extra deck or graveyard. So it's pretty good. Like, I have... That's one star... I have one I have one Stardust Dragon in my extra deck, so it's pretty good. And I use Mirror Force, Face the Common Trap, and Toriental Tribute. And that's it for the trap cards, the basic. I and now spells three of Myst mystical space typhoon. It's basic. Two dragon shield because a lot of the extra deck is dragons and also the main cards are like all I say with dragon and all eyes dragon are dragons and it also it's a fence board's very good with odd eyes dragon. Crit through a dragon type monster if it it cannot be destroyed by card effects, neither player takes battle damage. So Neither player player takes battle damage, but in odd eyes is effect. If this card destroys opponent once by balance and the two unit, inflict damage to your opponent equal half to the original attack of the monster, and that's not battle damage, that's effect damage. So you still deal damage to your opponents and also it like keeps your dragon from being really short. Like there's I see and like and the main reason I ended up editing it out the first time is like because I was worried about warts, but I played this deck against Wasps and I was beaten pretty easily, so there's nothing that much I can really do against Wasps. I get pre-play for them, take out what Grasshopper as best as I can. I also use two Swords of Uri and Light. Pen one Pendulum Call because of the Magician cards I have in this deck and also it's pretty good. One Mazillion Nuzzler and one Sky Iris. Uh, common Book of Moon and Dark Hall. And now time for my extra deck. Updated is a lot. Like, two hot, hot Red Dragon Archfiend is, like, a very good, like, compared to Red Dragon Archfiend. But once per turn during your main phase, you can destroy all other face of attack position monsters on the field other than this card. Card. And this card cannot attack this turn. So, this, this is, like, the main... Thing I have against Watt because when you're playing against a Watt deck, they basically have all their monsters in attack mode usually, unless they're actually a smart player. Like, a smart player would, like, I didn't have this card at the time, it's like they seen the deck list, so just they didn't know what they can really expect. And it's like, if they're a smart player, they would have maybe one in defense, but. They, but mostly it's attack, and then they attack directly. And what gra what gra grasshopper is basically in defense usually, that's what they do. And two good dragon arch fiend, because it can take out. Because this is the main card that I tried to use against Watts last time, and ended up going horribly because I didn't get to attack with it, didn't get to destroy his defense position. What what grasshopper and one exploded dragon and one odd eyes meteor burst dragon. It's pretty good. When this card is special summon, you can target one card in your pendulum zone, special summon it. Also, this card can uh, attack for the rest of the turn. You can only use the effect of all eyes, meteor, meteor burst once per turn. Monsters in your opponent's position cannot uh, activate the effects during the battle phase. One ultimate to a Zokin. It's a unique, unique tuner. And one ancient fairy dragon. One starless dragon. And one shooting quasir. Quasar Dragon. And now the still part of that strip, but the overlay monster that I suppose use. One number 101 Silent Honor Shark. One number C3 Utopia. That's basically where that is. His, I run two number 39 Uto Utopia. And one Honor Eyes Absolute Dragon. Uh, it's a pretty good one. Uh, there's. The level sevens are, yeah, is all I say with dragon. That's why I want to get another one. Is when either any play, so I can only uh, overlay this once. It's it's a good effect, but I can only overlay it once in this deck as of now. Maybe twice with Scholar the Haunted. 
And now this is my side deck. I use one resonator call, one scapegoat, three red cocoon, one stargazer magician, two azanite dragons, two mystical elf, one mirage dragon, one ch chain resonator, one king tiger wengu for basically two for against white spheres. As long as this card remains face upon the field, all monsters with attack equal to 14,000 or less. That are normal summon as best summon, including slip summon or arm at Lady Shard, and so it's pretty good. And then there's Odd Eyes Dragon, another one, and one Marshmallow. Because it really helped me just like in before and just like in my CR Boy Calcul set. So I basically say, like, yeah, these would, I always thought these would make a good side deck. And I hope you like and enjoy, enjoy the video. Leave a like, like and a comment down below. And if you want, and if you want to see more of this up deck updates, like I'll be updating it in the future because this is a deck that I love and it's just like I really want to continue making it better and just like and so if you want to see more updates of this deck as it gets better, subscribe.